What's up, 32 gang? Y'all know who it is, Lost with Jerry. I am back with another video. After I told y'all I wasn't coming back for a minute, but I had to put this on camera. You know what I'm saying? I had to put it on my channel for one. So, I came by my ex-boss house yesterday, you know, to check up on him, see how he's doing so far, you know, since he's been on the work for a minute. But then again, Lost with Jerry got something to show y'all, man, because I'm going to try and see if I can get it in my hands. Because this is one of the cars that I had got when I was just, what, 21 years old? Got it on my 21st birthday. My mom ended up getting the car and she ended up giving it to me, but I didn't have no license to drive it. So, but she let me drive her around without no license, but I couldn't drive it by myself until I got my license. So it took me a long time to get my license. But then again, this is one of the cars I would love to have back in my hand. Even CJ on 32 know also, because I told him that in one of his videos, that that was one of the first cars I got. And it looked just alike. But then again, it's a whole different color. But this car is in really good shape. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around and let you guys see exactly what I'm looking at. So, but I will be back up here next week to go ahead and get my buff job, clean them up a little bit and stuff like that, you know, until you're ready to get a uh, paint job done to it. But let's go ahead and turn this camera around. That's an Oldsmobile Regal. Video? Big boy. Okay, well, go ahead. Go ahead. What's up, Jay? All right, now how's it going? Oldsmobile Regal right there, full door. Man with the vinyl top on top. They got the chrome pillars on the uh, on the top with the windows. Sorry about the noise coming by. You got a boat wheel coming through. I hate the noise. But then again, check it out. You got the hood caps that came in the spokes. You know what I'm saying? Back then, you know, it was all good. We thought we was riding in style with them spoke hood caps. You know what I'm saying? Because they were nothing but just snap on them. You got the white walls on there, uh, 15 inch rim tires that's on there, and plus you had the uh, side pillars here too. Uh, velvet, whatever they call that stuff, but with the fake chrome on there, the pillar stuff, whatever. But you can still buy those in the stores too, also. And don't forget about the coast lights on the side of them, you know what I'm saying? Take them and paint them white, red, blue, whatever it took. But the vinyl top is very soft. Yeah, a little dirty, but it, it's gonna get clean, you know, once I get my hands on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and buff it out real good and clean it out real good. So in the back window, you can tell they put speakers in the back, you know, and but it still look in good, great condition. You know what I'm saying? So coming to the back of the body, you know what I'm saying, with that chrome bumper back there, man. How many people know some about this car? I mean, we used to put some kind of, uh, what do they call it, uh, Man, some kind of stuff to make that look shine, but I forgot the name of it. But then again, a lot of people just use oil and stuff like that. But this one here got chrome tips at the bottom, and it don't take long to uh, clean up one of these here, you know what I'm saying, to make it look good. But man, can y'all tell me in my comments? Let me know what year this car is, man. I already know what year it is, but I want to know if y'all remember by looking at it. I'm gonna get to the front in a minute, but then again, inside you got the buckle seats. Let's just do it, guys. Oh, that's what you're South Carolina. So you got bucket seats in there. You know what I'm saying? Bucket seats. I don't set off the line. So we're going to see if they're going to set that line. The door was open. That's how you know you can't steal the car. So the line man's going off. And I don't know if he got the keys. Let me see. You got the keys to that? I set the line. That? That's Roy. Which one? You see one? That was my beer. But anyway, you know, I'm set the line for me. Uh, that's what you're gonna set it off. But this one I'm talking about. Those lines that came with the cars, I guess, back then. It sounds good, though. It's gonna set the line for me for a minute, but yeah, I wanna see what was in it, you know what I'm saying? Let y'all see the bucket seats. The floor carpeting got the, uh, there we go. The floor carpeting has the uh, thick carpeting on the inside of it, man. And, man, there you go. The bucket seats. Man. Look nice. Now, y'all remember the, the lights used to come here on the side of the car. Uh, but they, back then, the back, you know what I'm saying? But it looks good. You got that double window back here that doesn't roll down back here on the side of the door. That piece don't roll down, but the rest of them does. I think they the back window rolls down a half, half away. I don't think they go all the way down. And then you got the power uh, antenna that's up there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, man. I think the radio antenna, well, it used to be in the windshield, but it's right there. So, that's a good thing with that. Oh, uh, man. 
Look at the front end of it. Y'all remember that grill, man? Them grills used to be installed back then, you know, with the headlights and all and everything. So, man, that looks really good shape, you know. Um, it's, it's got a lot of dirt that's built in it because it's been sitting for a long time. So, I'm going to get over here uh, next Saturday and go ahead and clean them up real good. You know what I'm saying? Power off. Power wash it off real good and go ahead and throw that buffer on top of it and get it going. But then again, I want to show y'all a, a old school car that's 1970. Man, talking about something that looks good. They picked this up last week, and I want you guys to take a look at it. But they're going to go ahead and fix this car up. They're going to get it back going again, you know what I'm saying? So, let's take a look at this one here. And see if y'all remember this car. That's right. It's old school. It's old school do it. There you go. Big boy. That's a long, big, long front end engine there, man. I mean, that's a big engine inside that bad boy, man, I tell you. But uh, they decided to put the buffer on top of it. They didn't get a chance to do the whole thing yet. But he's going to get the top renewed, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they all, there's three guys that's working on the car, so they're going to get the whole inside done. As y'all see, the front seat has been gutted out. Uh, this car came with 120 on the dashboard at the... At, those years you know what I'm saying but man that's what the seats used to look like right there you know but yeah they finna get ready and do the whole top up there somebody just put some junk up there they're gonna take all that out strip it out and redo it you know it's two of them type of cars in this is 70 and the other one is a 72 that's sitting over there uh, just by looking at it uh, 72 because the brewer came with those fins right here on the side so that's the old school there so he's gonna take strip everything from this one here and put inside this 70 and the 70 got a gloss to it you know what i'm saying it's it's, it's pretty it's shiny you know what i'm saying so the guy had a chance to do the top he didn't get a chance to finish up the bottom so long suit jerry gonna put his hands on it and see what he can do at the bottom but then again like i said he's gonna go ahead and get the top redone inside redone and do a little minor little parts to the brakes and stuff like that. New brakes, new tires all around it. Uh, this brewer came with some skirts on it. You know, this skirts right here you got the hood kept on the side down there. But he's going to put the original brewer rims on here. So he's going to get rid of the hood caps. So, man, you talking about something nice here, man. That's that electric. Boy, that's that mean boy there, man. He said when he drove it home from St. Louis, man. He had it at 100 miles per hour on the highway rolling in until the tires went out because two tires went down, the two front tires went down. So he, he um, slowed it down and called the tow truck and um, had to tow the rest of the way to the house. So that was pretty cool. But man, these are some nice cars here. I love them. So, um, so I'll be up here next year and put my hands on them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the top is not looking really glossy, it's more dull, so once you put the buffer on it, it'll start looking a lot better, so I'm going to try it out and see what it's like when I get done with it. But just like I said, everything looks good, man, and uh, but this Oldsmobile, man, 98, man, that's, that's what I want to put in my hands. You know, that's what I've been looking for all these years, you know, to find me another one and find out my ex-boss owned the car now, so there's no need lost so Jerry can probably get in his hand unless I come with some good money. Maybe he'll pass it to me. But that that's a mean boy. Man, I love it. Take one more look at that. That's that's beautiful. Yep. Lost so Jerry feel good with that one, man. I do a lot of good things with that. That's nice. That's real nice. Old school. But yeah, my third game. But like I said, man, I'm trying my best to do a lot of good things on my channel and stuff like that, you know. Uh, I wish he was here, you know. That way I can throw him on the channel. Maybe can explain to you guys a little bit more about the car and stuff like that. And and just keep on going because I just do all his cars anyway, you know what I'm saying. I used to come up here and detail them or I take them to the house and keep them at the house for like a couple of weeks, maybe a month or so. And just go ahead and do his cars, you know what I'm saying. So... I used to keep my hands on his cars all the time. 
And the way I'm looking at it now, he are gone in his blazer that he got another truck. Uh, he liked black cars for some reason, but I don't know. And <laughs> that's the way it is. But yeah. Um, he got a pickup truck here I like to get my hands on. You know what I'm saying? And that's the pickup truck that's sitting over there in the front of the house there. I want to get that one in my hands, but I don't know if they're going to sell that one or not. It's a used truck, you know what I'm saying? Something to, to put my stuff in and keep on going. But uh, as y'all see, the dot mobile is out here with me, you know what I'm saying? I went on hand and came up and put one of my signs in his yard because uh, he told me I can do so. I went on hand and done it anyway. And, you know, just to keep everything going, you know? Because a lot of houses up here that need power washing, you know what I'm saying? Or somebody that need a car detail or a truck or whatever. Mother home, whatever you got, and we're going to try our best to go on here and keep on doing it that way. So, the thing is, I want to keep the detailing in my brother's hand, let him do the detailing and stuff like that. And we jump in together by doing the houses and stuff like that. So, that's one thing I'm trying to do. So, by keeping the business going and rolling without somebody getting tired out and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, it would be nice if we did it that way. And, uh, man... Oh, yeah, it's another pickup truck down here for sale. So let me check this one out right quick. I said for sale sign in the window on the white one. So let's take a look at this one. All right, that's a Chevy truck. 1500 It's for sale, but there's no price. Um, just like I said, the truck ain't got to be in great shape, you know. It, like right there is missing the rust and all that stuff like this. Old one right there. I ain't, I'm not worried about that, not concerned about that, you know. As long as it can get me from A to B, you know. Uh, once I get, if I get something like this, I have to take this off and get rid of it. Put it in the garage because you got to put your water tank on the inside. So, that will have to come off no matter what. And plus, I got a garage. I can put everything in the garage with no problem. Even the other side is all bad out too. But, uh, I got a brother-in-law that can fix that, you know what I'm saying. Take care of that for me if I need it done. Stuff like that. And... Most of the rust stuff at the bottom and stuff like that, you know, because I'm not going to keep it like that and then somebody end up cutting themselves on the on the truck or hurting themselves. So I don't want to do that anyway. So the thing is, is just go ahead and and get it going, man. This truck looks like it's heavy, but she needs some little detailing on the inside, you know what I'm saying? But got tent windows on the side, you know, right there. Uh... Man, so he ain't got no uh, price on it, he just got it for sale. So I'm going to have to call him up and uh, and see how much he wants for this uh, Chevy pickup truck. So, yeah. And that's the guy I get my tires shine from, you know what I'm saying? That's my uh, ex-boss, brother-in-law. So I can get with him and say, hey, I need some wax, I need some tire shine. And everything they, they get is from Peoria anyway, so... and. They give me a good deal on everything they get. So, that means, and plus he's a mechanic. He got his own shop here. You know what I'm saying? We work on cars. He got the lift thing inside of the garage. You know, lift the car straight up in the air and drop an engine or whatever they got to do, man. I mean, he got everything. I mean, from the big air tanks and all that good stuff, too. So, man. Oh, man. I seen something that I wanted to show you guys because back then, man, I think a lot of us went through that stuff. Take out the steering wheel. Y'all remember that wrap over the steering wheel? You had to tie on with the string and stuff like that and then put it in a knot and snap it, whatever it took? Man, that is nice. I ain't seen one of those in years. It's been a long time since I've seen one of those. But man, yeah, we got the bucket seat belts and all that stuff like that, man. The chrome piece, you know what I'm saying? Got the design in the middle part, you know? I mean, the flow mats look like original. Yep, they're original flow mats there. But man, yeah, it's gonna be nice when I get done with it, guys. But we're gonna try our best to go ahead and knock it down quicker and easier, man. And hey, just like I said, don't forget to hit, hit that notification bell, guys. If y'all don't see it, I'm gonna try to find a way to get it up back up on my line and get it going that way and stuff like that. Cause a lot of people been asking about the notification bell, but I've been getting a lot of subscribers on my channel anyway. So just like I said. Stay safe out there, guys, all right? Ladies, too, kids, and Lost of Jerry will be getting back with you guys another day, another time. Go to game. Peace. I am out of here.